Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is The Novelty Corner and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bit of a chatty video and it's something I've been meaning to film for a while but kept getting pushed back because of other things that I had scheduled to post. So if you've followed my channel for a while you will have probably realised that earlier this year I stopped sharing my book ratings in my wrap ups and it was initially just going to be like for a week to see how I felt about it and then I just kept not sharing my star ratings for books. And honestly, it's not something that I can see myself going back to for lots of reasons. Interestingly enough, it's not something that anyone has ever mentioned to me in the comments. I suppose at the start of this video, what I want to let people know is I do actually still rate books. I rate them on Goodreads or if I'm reviewing books on my blog, because the fact is star ratings do help authors and books and publishers and that sort of thing. And I also rate them on my spreadsheet, but that's mostly for a data perspective and it fits in more with why I rate books when I rate them in my spreadsheet. But I guess what I really wanted to address in this video is why I stopped rating books on booktube to begin with. And the biggest reason essentially is that there is no consistent rating system. The way that everyone rates books is always going to be different because it's an intensely personal, there's no rubric, there's no guidelines for a rating system. You just know that the more stars someone gives a book, the more they enjoyed it and the less stars they give it, the less they enjoyed it. But what does that even mean? It's inherently different for every single person and it's entirely subjective as well. The way that I feel about books, even if I enjoyed it and someone else enjoyed the book, it doesn't always equate. And I think sometimes star ratings can be a little bit misleading because they are entirely related to the person who is giving the rating, which is great if you're friends with someone and you know that you rate things similarly, but if you know you have different tastes from people, then it's really hard to sort of work out whether that their five star is going to match your five star and so forth. Which also brings me to the point that we have a, a star rating system that goes across all genres. Now, not all books are written in the same way and every genre is really different. And so to say that a five star romance book is the same as a five star science fiction book is the same as a five star literary fiction book is the same as a five star nonfiction book. I think that's a really tough ask. I think in our, in our minds, we can equate and relate that on our own spectrum, but to communicate that is a real challenge. And look, I take my hats off to people who can do that. I think it's amazing if you can actually put that into words. Sometimes I can't. And reading for me has always been very personal. It's always been an escape. And for me, there's a lot of things that influence how I feel about a book. So for me, a lot of my ratings are influenced by the time that I read the book and my mood when I'm reading the book. If I'm having a really terrible day, I'm going to struggle with books. It's just a simple fact. And if I'm reading it during a really stressful time in my life, then that's going to have an impact on how I view the book, if I'm even able to read. And sometimes it's even influenced by the author. If it's an author that I love, chances are I'm automatically going to rate it higher because I have a connection to that author and that writing style and reading whatever it is brings me so much joy that for me, like the scale system is already skewed because I already have that connection and I know that this is something that I'm going to pick up and immediately be immersed in something that I know I'll enjoy, regardless of whether it's the best example of a genre or not. Like it's just one of those weird sort of systems where it is intensely personal. Another reason why I sort of stopped sharing it is I know that for my own personal reading taste, my average rating for a book is four stars, which for a lot of people is really high. That's mostly because I intentionally pick up books that I know I'm going to enjoy. I'm not always out there trying to read things that are going to throw me a huge curveball. And occasionally I do, and occasionally, you know, the ratings are lower or, or higher or whatever. But for the most part, I'm choosing authors I like, tropes I like, genres I like, stories and series that I enjoy. So my ratings are automatically going to be skewed higher regardless, because those books sit in my wheelhouse. And, you know, sometimes I feel like that can, can skew perspectives. Not that it changes how I feel about a book, but other people might not have that same connection to it that I do. And sometimes when you share a rating, it automatically gives people an expectation. Now, this is not to say that I completely ignore ratings at all. A lot of the time when I'm watching my friends, particularly here on booktube, they'll share their ratings. But I think what I've tried to do in the last year is train myself to hear the rating, but not base whether or not I want to read the book based on someone else's rating. Usually what I'm trying to listen to now is the summary of the book. Is it a story that sounds intriguing to me? Are there keywords or tropes in this book that I know that I really enjoy? And that's probably the biggest reason why I'll pick up a book. And also I listen to content warnings. So I know what's coming up in a book and whether or not that's going to have an impact on me. And as I said, I like to read things that I want to read. So 
I'm more likely to pay attention to keywords than I am to a rating. A lot of the time people want something that's really clear cut and they want people to say this is the most amazing book in the world but the fact is that's still an opinion and because we don't have a ratified assessment system that opinion is based purely on personal taste, personal circumstances and occasionally that leads to severe disappointment. I think we can get much better information and make more informed decisions based on other information rather than solely based on whether someone rated it highly or not. I don't know if that's controversial but that's just the way that I feel about it. At the start of the video I said I know that I was not intending to go back to rating books in my wrap-ups and I really don't intend to do that. I have found it so much more freeing to focus on explaining what happens in the story, you know the keywords or key ideas that come up that come up in a story that really gripped me and hooked me into the story and also you know as I said before the content warnings I think content warnings are increasingly more important in today's society especially with the world the way that it is so that people can make informed decisions about the books that they're reading. Now I tell you guys whether I liked a book or not you know if I, I really enjoyed it or if I didn't because I tell you I find it far more helpful to hear people say I really enjoyed the book and this is why than to have people hold up a book and go this is a six star read because what does that even mean to me? If you can say I enjoyed this book and this is why these are the things that caught me and dragged me into the story and now I want to read more I'm more likely to go investigate that book because to me that has more meaning. Unfortunately for me rating systems are arbitrary so I would prefer to give you my impressions of a book and you can take from that what you will. Part of why I started sharing books was that I wanted to share things that I genuinely enjoy. So if I say that in a video I genuinely mean it. And quite often I know I use the phrase you know this was a really enjoyable book. It, it may not have been the best example of writing out there but the story itself was really enjoyable. You know that I'm acknowledging the fact that maybe it's not the most well written story. However it is an enjoyable storytelling experience because something in the story has gripped me or captured my attention or my imagination. I'm going to commit to trying to be better at giving information about the books and my feelings and perhaps even the circumstances surrounding my reading. I'm not going to be going back to giving you my star ratings. If you're really interested in those that's when you go and check out my Goodreads because it's not a secret, it's not something I'm trying to hide, it's just that I don't think that the star ratings for books is as valid as someone being able to explain why they like something or why they didn't like it. So yes, those are my rambly thoughts. I don't even know if this is going to make a coherent video so I apologize in advance for whatever form this takes. Yeah I thought I should probably explain the fact that I stopped rating books on booktube. It's not that I don't watch people who do, it's more that I take people's ratings with a grain of salt and I listen for other things and I think that's helped me to be a little bit more discerning about things that I know that I enjoy reading which in turn helps me to read more books that I'm likely to enjoy reading myself. In the comments feel free to share your thoughts on rating systems. Do you rate books? Do you not rate books? What are your thoughts on the whole thing? As I said I find the whole thing subjective and personal and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that but I do know that authors and publishers find it really useful because it does help get books into the hands of other people. So it's kind of that tough line to walk. Hopefully by singing out the praises of all the books that I do love in another way that still also helps. If you want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment what the hell let's leave some stars down in the comments because why not. I hope that wherever you are in the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.